Welcome to Make a Moment with Christina. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to play the ancient African game called Mankala. This is an old game that dates back to the 6th or 7th century and is still played today. A traditional Mankala game board is usually rectangular and it has 12 divots or sort of like holes in the middle of the game board and two larger ovals on the outside. And it's played with 48 small pieces. These are usually stone, little stones, pebbles. In this case, these look like uh, flatter marbles, but really they can be used, anything that's small can be used. So we are also going to be learning how to make our very own Mancala game board using an egg carton. So let's begin. Okay. So what are some things that we will need to make our own Moncala game? So I want you to go around your house and look for 48 small things, pieces of something. Maybe it's 48 small Lego pieces, or maybe it's 48 beans or beads. So I have found some beads that we are no longer using in our house and I have 48 of them and they're kind of nice and colorful, but you don't have to use those. Here are some other ones that I found as well. Um, you could also go outside and find some pebbles or small stones. You could even use coins. Okay, you will also need some scissors and construction paper or some cardstock, something maybe a little thicker, and glue. You could use a hot glue gun if you have some parent supervision. And if you want your egg carton to look a little more decorative, you could paint it or color it. You could use markers or paint. And of course, you will need an egg carton. But what kind of egg carton will you need? You will need one that would hold 12 or a dozen eggs. So in this case, it would look like this. So it has 12 holds, just like our Moncala board. Okay, so let's begin. The first thing that you're gonna do is you're going to cut off the top. So let's do that. Okay, so once you have these two pieces here, uh, you might want to cut off this flap as well. Now, depending on what kind of egg carton you have, your egg carton might not have something that looks like that. Okay, and you can just throw this away. Okay, now you can see the top here has some holes, so we're gonna wanna cover those up. Also, it has these ridges on the inside, so I'm just gonna cut these off here just to make it a little bit more flat on the inside. So now I've cut off the inside here, I have two big holes here, and I'm gonna to want to cover these up uh, so that I can have my ovals, like in the, in the real Moncala. So I'm gonna take some construction paper and I'm going to measure it out and just enough to be able to cover that hole. So I've actually already done that here with these two pieces. So, and I just chose two different colors just to make them colorful. So I'm gonna take my one piece here and I'm going to cover that up and just glue around it with some glue or hot glue gun. So I'm gonna use the hot glue gun just because it does stick a little bit better. And I'm gonna go all the way along my hole here, all the way around it. And then I'm gonna stick my glue piece on and then just wait for that to dry. And now I'm gonna do my other side. Once your glue has dried, then what you want to do is cut your top of the egg carton in half. So I'm just going to estimate it doesn't have to be perfectly in half. I'm just going to cut along the middle until I get two pieces of my top, just like this. And now I'm going to want to make my mancalas 
which is the oval ends of my Moncala set. So I'm gonna take one end and I'm gonna take my dozen divots and I'm going to glue on the, put glue on the outer edge of my egg carton. You can even put a little on the inside here at the top. And then I'm gonna glue that on there just like that. All right, so let's do that now. And then once that's dry, you can do the other side. Okay, once your glue has dried on your egg carton, then you can decide whether you want to paint it or color it or put some designs on it, but you don't have to if you don't want to. I have already finished one here, so I'm gonna show you what this one looks like that I did paint. So I just decided to do some crazy colors on this one, but I have my Moncala holes on the inside, that's what we call the Moncalas, and then my 12 on the inside, and I just decided to color it pink and or purple and blue. So once your Moncala board is dry from the glue and the paint or however you've decorated, then you're ready to play. So let's learn how to play Moncala. Okay, so to play Moncala, you will need two people. So here's Alex, and she will be my opponent today. Now remember, a Moncala comes from Africa from a long time ago, and there are many different ways to play Moncala from the different regions, but I will be showing you one of the more popular ways to play today. So, remember you're going to need your Moncala board that you've made and your playing pieces. So remember to get 48 of those and may the best player win. <laughs> so as I mentioned earlier, there are many different ways to play Moncala. The way I'm going to show you today is one of the more popular ways to play. So the board is set up so that the long sides are facing uh, your opponent, opponent and yourself. So the six cups that are nearest to me are these blue cups or pockets and this longer pocket here, this bigger pocket here, is my Moncala. My opponent's Moncala is the purple, and her six pockets are these purple ones across from her. So to start, we place four gemstones or, or pieces, whatever you've found around your house, in each of the pockets of the Moncala board. So as you can see, there are four beads or playing pieces in each of the pockets, and that's how we begin the game. The object of the game is to get as many of the beads or pieces, game pieces, into your own Moncala, to your own side. So this would be my side. So my, the object of the game for me would be to get as many beads as possible. The object for the opponent would be to get as many gemstones or beads into his or her pocket. Okay, so to begin, you gather one set of beads from one pocket, one set of playing pieces from one pocket, and you can choose any from your side. So I would start from this side, and I'm going to go counterclockwise and deposit one bead or gemstone into each pocket, including my own Moncala. So it's gonna look like this. I take everything out of this pocket and I put one in each pocket as I go around 
counterclockwise. So now I have one playing piece in one of, in my mancala. If I land in my mancala, I get to go again. So again, I'm going to pick from this side of, my, of the board, from my side of the board, and I'm gonna go counterclockwise around. So I'm gonna choose from this pocket here. I empty it out, and then I go to the next pocket and place my beads or playing pieces in each pocket, including my mancala, until I have no more. So now I have landed on my opponent's side, so my turn is over. So now my opponent is going to go and she's going to gather from any pocket on her side and place one bead in each pocket and she has landed in her mancala, so she gets to go again. So she's going to gather from a pocket, empty it out completely, and place one playing piece in each pocket, including the mancala, and until she has no more in her hand. Now she has landed in my mancala, so her turn is over. So now it's my turn and I have to decide which of these pockets I want to empty. So I'm gonna go with this pocket right here. I'm going to empty them all out and deposit it into the next one, one at a time, until I have no more in my hand. And I have actually landed in my mancala, so I get to go again. So I'm gonna choose from any of these. If I land, if I pick this one, and I land into my side, my turn is also over. So now it'd be her turn, and she, my opponent's turn, and she's gonna go again. Emptying out a pocket and placing one playing piece in each pocket, including her mancala, and she landed in her own, so she gets to go again. She empties out a pocket, counterclockwise, deposits each playing piece, and she's landed on her side, so she her turn is over. All right, so now my, it's gonna be my turn, and I'm gonna gather this pocket here until it's completely empty. And I deposit one playing piece in my Moncala and go around counterclockwise until I have no more in my hand. If I had more playing pieces in my hand and I kept on going, I would not deposit into my, into my opponent's mancala. I would skip over this mancala and keep going. So now I landed in her, on her side, and so now my turn is over and my opponent gets to go. So now her turn is over and then I get to go. So another trick that you can do is, if you are on your side, it, you take some out of your pocket and you deposit one bead there, one playing piece here, and you land on your side opposite, you land on an empty pocket opposite of your opponent, then you get to gather your playing piece plus your opponent's playing piece and deposit them into your mancala. So I get to go again and I'm going to deposit this pocket.
So as you can see, she's gone counterclockwise. My opponent has gone counterclockwise and skipped over my mancala, but continued going into her side until her hand was empty. So she has landed on her side, but not on an empty side. So now it's my turn as well. So I'm going to take out this pocket and deposit counterclockwise, and I land in my Moncala, so I get to go again. And I see here that I have two playing pieces, so I might want to go here and here so I, that I get to go again. And then I see that I have two playing pieces here. If I go here, then I get to collect her side. So that's what my strategy is going to be for this move. So I'm taking these out, placing one here, placing one here, and because I landed on an empty side piece or empty pocket on my side, I get to collect mine and hers, and then I get to go again. And those all go into my mancala. So now I get to go again, and then I see that I have three here, which I do want because they will land exactly into my mancala. So I get to go again. And now I see here that I have two playing pieces that will land across from hers. So I'm gonna go here and here. And what do you think I get to do? That's right, you guessed it. I get to collect her pocket and mine, and then I get to go again. So my side is almost empty, and I wanna be careful because if once I empty my side or if sh my opponent empties her side, then the game is over, and you get to keep all the ones that are on your side, and she still has quite a bit. So I wanna make sure not to empty this one out. That's just my strategy for this game for today. So I'm gonna take this one by itself and just put it there. And now my turn is over. And now it's my opponent's turn. So she's landed across from me and she's going to collect, deposit into hers, and she gets to go again. So now she's landed there. There's no more moves that she can make. So I'm going to collect these. And see what happens. So deposit into mine, opponent side, all the way around, counterclockwise, and now it's her turn. And she's thinking I'm gonna have to empty mine soon. So I'm gonna, the only choice I have left is to take this one, drop it into my side, which gets to collect hers. And now my side is completely empty. So that is how the game ends. But once you have your side completely empty, the opponent gets to keep all of the playing pieces on her side. So she's going to collect all of those that are left, place them into her mancala, and then we're gonna to count to see who has the most playing pieces. So we're going to count. So I have 21 pieces. How many does my opponent have? 27. Oh no, that means that my opponent has won and I have lost the game. And uh, that's how you play Mancala. I hope you have fun making your own Mancala board and playing this ancient African game. Thanks for watching. Bye.